And in class 3A, no one has slowed down the high-powered Piers offense. Their lowest point total of the season, 17 against Melrose Week 4. The other 10 wins, though, 34 points or more, including 40-plus a game in these playoffs. Their semifinal matchup, Jordan winners of Section 2 with a 9-3 record, but the Pioneers didn't care about that. They stuck to their bread and butter. Carson Oles up the middle. They're on the board first, and after Piers recovers the ensuing kickoff, Jalen Jansen just boys his way in the end zone for six more, just like that. 14-0 Pioneers, two minutes into the game, but they didn't stop there. Second quarter, this time their leading rusher, Reese Kapsner. Big hole up the middle, and he's gone. 161 yards on 16 carries and two scores. And finally, how about a fourth player finding pay dirt? Alex Funk, fullback dive from a yard out. Pierce puts up a 55 spot on the afternoon. They're on the finals. Here's Clayton Castle with more. Well, it's been their go-to all season, and today was no different as the PS Pioneers rushed for 421 yards and route to a 55-26 win in the Class 3A semifinals here at U.S. Bank Stadium. They felt that we could run the ball, and, and we certainly did. I think that one series where we bogged down, but other than that, we capitalized on, on a couple of their mistakes, too. One thing that's really good about our team, we're all around. Um, we have a great special team, great offense, and a great defense, and those special team things where the momentum switches and stuff, I mean, that was big for us. Um, it was a little different, I think. We were all just checking out the stadium, and we just kind of wanted to come to play this time, but it was still obviously really cool, the stadium we're playing in, but we just came re more ready to play this time than last year, I think. Reporting from U.S. Bank Stadium, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. So 55-26 the final. As Clayton said, the Pioneers offense 420 yards rushing and seven touchdowns on the ground. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.